Nicoli's dissertation documents the relationship between student engagement, an indicator of student success, and a sense of place on campus. My focus uh, the focus of my uh, dissertation is really centered around uh, campus ecology, which is about the interaction between, uh, you know, students and their uh, and the campus and the physical campus. So, uh, what was the research, and how did you do it? Well, I mean, the research was um, essentially it was a quant you know it was a quantitative. Uh, you know, uh, research, and so I did a survey of students, and uh, you know, developed instrument that uh, borrowed from uh, the um, uh, a standard uh, instrument for uh, measuring student engagement, and develop an instrument for a sense of place uh, based on literature and understanding the different dimensions of sense of place. What kinds of questions did you ask in your survey? So there are some, you know, specific questions would be how, what, what are the, what, how does your campus provide you the opportunity to do the kinds of things you like to do? How well does it provide you the opportunity okay. to do the kinds of things okay. that you like to do? Uh, there are you know, questions about uh, the places on campus that they feel uh, more uh, at at attached to and why. Um, you know, they're attached to such places. So the, it was both and these is, um, again, they, they're going to, they will choose, it's on a Likert scale, whereby they will choose, uh, it was a statement really, uh, you know, this provides me the opportunity to do the kinds of things I like to do more than any other place. And then it's on a, you know, agree, disagree, strongly agree. And then, uh, in the end, these have numbers of one through five, and then you know we, um, I would um, uh, do a statistical analysis of um, the and correlate the different answers to, uh, okay. to uh, both both on the major constructs themselves, which is student engagement and then sense of place as well as subsets of those to see what relates to what. There are two kinds of sense of place. And I didn't know that. And so I termed them, I named them a fleeting sense of place and an enduring sense of place. And the difference is that the fleeting sense of place is one that develops very quickly, but it wanes quickly as well. And, and then the enduring sense of place may not be there the first time you come to a place, but over time it could develop. And once it develops, it endures. And the question is that, and so just as an example, uh, a fleeting sense of place may be associated with the more temporal senses. So visual, you come to a place and you like a place and then you fall in love with it. But as you begin to interact with the place and you begin to feel it, there may be certain things about it that you don't like and it doesn't serve you as well. So for instance, you might then realize that it does not provide you the opportunity to do the kinds of things that you like to do and then you begin to turn away from the place. Because you fell in love at first sight, but when you got to know the person, then you're falling out of love. But as you interact with a place and build a memory and understand it, and then you begin to uh, see all the things that it does for you, and then you develop that bond. That bond grows over time, it doesn't lessen. And so we are both merged. You have both the fleeting 
and the enduring kind. Before it wanes, the enduring kind takes hold. And that is how people fall in love with a place the first time and continue to fall in love and it grows. So that's one thing I found out that I didn't know. I also learned that uh, sense of place has something to do with um, not just um, um, that uh, when st the students living on campus versus students not living on campus, that how they feel about their campus is reinforced more for those who live on campus than those who didn't live on campus. And that actually made sense after I saw the pattern because they are more engaged with the campus, they knew the place and they formed memories of the place. But the key thing though was that I was able to confirm because nobody has studied it before was that there is indeed a direct correlation between sense of place and student engagement that the higher the sense of place, the greater the student engagement. And being that student engagement is an indication of learning, you could make the connection. You know, that sense of place uh, is, aids student learning on, cam on campus. I'm back. So as a university architect, anytime I have opportunity to remind people that it's not just about buildings and spaces, for buildings without people are not places. This conversation was recorded June 28, 2016 in Seattle, Washington.